dealing. Uh, this is about energy and about the budget. And this is about the Arctic Wildlife Range in Alaska. We have voted 12 times in this floor. I think, I think Mr. Spratt voted for it, Mr. Dingle voted for it, or will vote for it, to try to open the last great known elephant in oil fields in the continental United States. If we were to do so today, we would deliver to the American public one million barrels of oil for the 30 continuing years a day. 30 years, one million barrels a day. That's the very minor estimate. But more than that, it would provide this year, if we were just to lease it, $191 billion in revenue for the budget. $191 billion for the lease and the development of ANWR. And in three years, I can deliver the American public, the American public, one million barrels a day or more. That's more than Venezuela. That keeps Venezuela from jacking the prices around. And if we were to do it, my good friends, it would drop the price of oil about $10 a barrel immediately. Not because we're delivering it, but it would be the first time this Congress has, asked, has worked on the supply side. And the speculators would stop speculating if they saw that Congress was serious about developing our, our national and our federal lands in fossil fuels. Why we don't do that, I cannot understand. Yes, we do have to change our, our modes of transportation in a period of time, but there's no way you can bridge the ability of not using fossil fuels in the short term. Now, you think about the consumer today in Alaska. You think about the consumer in the rest of the nation and what they have to do at $4 a gallon, maybe $5. And I have estimates now it may go as far as $10 by the end of the year, and that's going to be on your watch. We're here talking about the budget, but if we want to solve the budget problems, let's create some dollars. But more than that, let's create less dependency on foreign oil. How we can sit here as a body and send dollars overseas and the billions of dollars, to give you some idea, the average tax for every man, woman, and child, everybody listening to this station tonight is paying $2,085 for every man, woman, and child and tax to the foreign countries, burning their oil, 70% of their oil. And some people say, well, it's the oil companies. Nonsense. This is about demand globally and supply. We're not the only buyers anymore. America's not the only ones that have automobiles. America's not the only one using fossil fuels. China is burning more barrels of fuel today than we are. And that drives the price up. We're no longer the only buyer, and the seller can ask for the price they're going to get. The only way you can relieve that is start developing our national on federal lands, our oil, for the good of the American people. And why we're not doing this, I don't know. And remember, you heard me before in this well, it's not your fault, it's not our fault, it's this fault, the body of this Congress. We've got to stop pandering to those who say no to developing our fossil fuels. We have to stop, stop pandering for those saying there's going to be a total climate change because it is going to happen in this world, they will be burning the oil, and we'll be unable to take and support our people until we develop our fields as we should develop them. I'm hoping America's listening. I hope America will wake up to the fact. We have the ability to do it here today. We have the ability to solve the budget problem, but we have a better ability to solve the energy problem in America. I'm asking my fellow colleagues, let's do it. Let's do it today. Let's do it in the future. Let's solve the problems of energy in this nation. Yield back the balance. Jimmy yields back. Who sees